Congratulations for purchasing an LFC biodigester. Remove the top of the crate first, then the front, back, and sides of the crate, then the horizontal stay bar. Use a forklift to remove the LFC biodigester from the crate. Recycle the crate or save it for future use. Roll the LFC biodigester into place. Remove plastic wrap. Then remove all accessories from inside the LFC biodigester. Lift the chassis with a pallet jack, car jack, or J-bar. Install all four feet into the load cells. Screw the foot as far as possible into each load cell so that no thread is showing. Place a rubber block under each foot. Use a spirit level so that the LFC biodigester is level. Install a flexible connector to the wastewater outlet. Install a stop valve. Plumb the outlet to a grade level drain. Confirm that only power chips are inside the drum. Verify the AC power matches that on the service plate. Close the LFC biodigester door and plug the power cord in. Verify the screen displays the power knot logo and there is a beep. Fit two half-inch brass hose adapters to the water inlets. Connect drum water hose to top adapter. Connect washout water hose to bottom adapter. Turn on water, verify there are no leaks. On the touch screen, select Start, Manual, Drum Water. Open the door, verify water flows into the drum and that it is about the temperature you would have a shower. If temperature is too high, you need to install a mixing valve. After make sure LFC biodigester is up and running, then you can activate the Powerzyme. Add equal parts Powerzyme, sugar and rice into a bucket. Add four parts of warm water into the bucket. Leave for 5 to 10 hours in a warm room with stir mixture well several times. Shut the wastewater stop valve. On the touch screen, select Start, Manual, then turn on both supply water and forward. Wait until the drum is one-third filled with warm water. Exit manual mode, leave for 3 to 5 hours. Open stop valve to drain all the water completely. On the touch screen, select Status, Diagnostics. Adjust the foot that has the lowest reading displayed on the screen until it is equal to the next lowest reading. Use a 19 millimeter wrench to adjust the feet. Tighten the upper lock nuts. Ensure no object is on the LFC biodigester. Do not lean on the LFC biodigester. On the touch screen, select Setup, Calibrate Empty Weight. Connect the LFC biodigester to the internet. Install the waterproof connector that comes with the machine onto your ethernet cable, then connect it to the LFC. If no cable is available, configure a Wi-Fi client or a GSM modem wireless connection. On the touch screen, select Status, Diagnostics. Verify all parameters are OK. Correct any errors that are reported.
on the touchscreen select Setup, then Reset Settings and Reset History. Do not select Reset Log. On the touchscreen select Setup, then select Service Power Zyme. Set Next Service Due in 9 months. Select Service Power Chips. Set Next Service Due in 36 months. Add waste food to the drum. At least 20% of the LFC Biodigester's nominal capacity. Slowly and evenly pour activated the power zyme with the rice and sugar into drum. On the touch screen, press Start, then Auto. The LFC Biodigester is ready to use. If you have questions, please contact PowerNot at 1-408-889-8433 or send email to support at PowerNot.com.